Welcome by the Arcade Saga. My name is Elkian Lierschma. And today I have another repotting video for you guys. <laughs> and we're going to repot this beauty, which is almost done blooming. It just started uh, one more uh, bloom here. It's my Maxillaria Chrysantha. Yes, Chrysantha. <laughs> but you can see it has uh, several uh, new growths. And we have more here and more here. And they are really on the edge of the pot. So yeah, it's time to do a repot. And uh, even though it's in bloom, it, I think it uh, will be okay, like I explained in uh, the other videos as well. It's just an up-potting. So most of the times today do not care that much. And also it's making a lot of new growth. So it probably uh, will be fine. So let's uh, take this orchid uh, to the up-potting table and uh, let's have a look. I'm very curious to see how she's doing root-wise. I, I, I have uh, no idea, to be, uh, to be honest. <laughs> so we are now in the orchid room. Uh, we are at the up-potting table. And like I said, I'm very curious to see how this uh, does root-wise, because it's living uh, on the top of the shelf, as you can, uh, can see, on the top shelf. <laughs> uh, so I don't uh, have this... Uh, down that much. So I didn't have a look in the pot for quite a while. So let's uh, get it out and have a look. I'm going to put the other pot there. So yeah, oh yeah, we have roots. We have roots. Let me give you a close-up. And these little black roots are from the fern that will go out. But yeah, 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 we have quite some roots. Once again, those little black tiny roots are from the fern, as you can see there. But the uh, wider one are from the arc itself, the maxillary itself. So that looks uh, very good. Let me check. Yes, I'm in frame. Let's first get the tag out so we don't lose that. And yeah, this one makes quite a lot of new growths this time. It really wants to grow uh, bigger. But as you can see, they really are uh, towards the edge of the pot, like we discussed earlier in this video. So, and I have this uh, water meter on the edge of the pot, like this, with a wire. So I needed to uh, loosen up that wire, otherwise it will not come out, of course. So here we go. Even some uh, some pumice in this as well. How long it's ago? It's in 2020 I did repot it. Like we saw last week with my Master Value video, I also used the pumice. Well, it's uh, about the same time that I did uh, up at this one. And it was the first time that it, uh, it did settle uh, in this method. So I didn't uh, have it uh, long before that. So it's from uh, 2020. So yeah, I uh, used some uh, ceramics back then. Okay, but now... <laughs> Let's we first squeeze the pot a little bit. Oh, this is very, very solid. Very solid. <laughs> Can barely get any movement in, so... Yeah. Whoops. Oi. And it's hard to grab this orchid, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. But we will take our time. I don't want to break any new growth, of course. But... Yeah, I need something to hold it by. Slowly but surely, I'm just pulling a little bit, a little bit of pressure, not too much. Slowly, and I'm squeezing with my other hand, as you can see. And just, and we have some larger pumice in there. We have Lekka and Sorama. So basically everything I had. <laughs> oh, there it goes, there it goes. There, it, yeah, it's the water meter now. The wires will not come through. And there is it. Completely. So that didn't go as bad. And even the Cintiq. <laughs> so I uh, basically have every media that I uh, used throughout the years in this, uh, this pot. It did work. It doesn't make sense. And I did it back in the day. So about two years, three years ago. If I wasn't sure, I did make a mix of diff different... Uh, medias <laughs> just to see if it would work but um, 
Yeah, here go the, goes the ferns, and it did work for this one, but it will now be potted up in uh, the uh, larger palmers. I think this might like a little bit more air around the roots. So I'm just going to take uh, out the uh, ferns, and this one is also that beautiful moss there, as you can see. I love the moss, so I'm going to leave that for sure. Uh, let me see, the root system so far not bad. I try to take out a few of those uh, fern roots because we don't need those. But I'm not going to mess with, uh, with the media again because even this darker root here, that is, uh, this one is still alive. So I'm just going to leave it. Checking the other parts. Yeah, we might have a few older roots that have died off, but not much. Not enough for me to start messing around with this root system. I don't do it because I don't like it if I don't have to. Uh, let me check. I'm going to take off the older spikes and blooms that are still there. And I need to cut a few off, so let's do that. We have one here and this is a part of a leaf this is a spikes that can go yeah one more bloom there and this is quite funny because i found that the as you look let me see at the new growth start coming out fairly dark and then they start pushing up those beautiful green uh, leaves but first i, I was uh, like what what i'm what what is happening <laughs> are these uh, new growths dying off but no it's just the way it grows so uh i needed to uh, to learn that because yeah now i know it but last year i was a little bit afraid that i had a lot of dying off <laughs> Uh, tips dying off on these new growths, but turned out it just starts fairly dark and then it will uh, show that beautiful green color on the leaves And I just noticed here a new growth that was really uh, Pushing to the edge of the pot. So this now has to, uh, room to grow as well luckily and yeah, it looks great. We have some older roots here This is still firm even though it's very very uh, dark so yeah, we have quite some roots. It just keeps this media all together. So you can see that this is just a very nice, basically a clump of roots. And uh, like I said, we're going to leave it because it's uh, perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up a little bit, uh, get my media, get a new pot. And first need to decide which pots I'm going to use, but you will see it uh, in a second. <laughs> so I uh, chosen to for a, uh, a Similar setup as last week with the Masdevelia. A net pot because we have the width and not, it's not as high, so that's good. And this little bucket that will hold uh, the water and creates a, a reservoir. Cheaper than the Alo pots, therefore uh, I use them and I do like them, of course. I don't uh, only use the cheaper ones. These are slightly uh, smaller than the one that I used uh, last week, I can see. It's still, it's still okay, but it doesn't look as good. But yeah, I have them now, so I'm going to use them. I don't mind it as much. And it will do the, the trick, so uh, therefore I think it will be fine. So uh, let me check. Where's the water meter? Here I can uh, obviously reuse that. So I'm going to put that in like this. And I'm starting a layer uh, with uh, the bigger pumice. Otherwise it will be too low in a pot. Let me quickly check if I have enough in there. Sometimes even a bit too much. This is <laughs> a little bit too much. So I'm going to make a bit of room in the center of the pot. Pushing the uh, big pumice to the sides. I hope that's enough. Because I don't want to put it back in because now it's 
been in contact with the plant and don't want to put it back in this uh, this uh, come on box this uh, little container let me check yeah that should be fine that should be fine so we're going to fill up uh, well almost let me first check if it can go if I have room evenly for the new growths and I think I do have that now so now I'm going to fill it up and then she should be good to go for another couple of years at least two years and then we need to decide again if we keep it one plant or not probably I will <laughs> Because I like the, the more specimen plants, if I can grow them like that. So maybe there. I think that's enough. Yes. I think that's okay. So now I need uh, a top layer of pebbles. Let's throw them on the floor. Oop. <laughs> there it is. Oops. There we go. I got pebbles here. Not on my water meter, otherwise it will not work. <laughs> ah, shoot. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I just said it and now one little pebble did fall in. Can you believe it? Can I take it out? Because that's too heavy, of course. Yes, 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 um, oh, almost. <laughs> Let me, uh, yeah, 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 there it is, there it is. Some of these water meters has have those uh, caps on top of it, but I apparently lost uh, the cap for this one so it still works but if a pebble falls on top of this part it's too heavy so it will not work anymore but this how it is uh, how it looks in the uh, on the inside of the water meter let me put it back there we go and continue <laughs> so there we are Pebbles back. One more check. Yeah. I think it does look very, very nice. Look at those beautiful new growths. We have even one starting here. This is the back of the part. Uh, back of the part. <laughs> back of the plant. Uh, let me get that leaf. You can see now. So that may take over that area of the plant. So that would be nice. So we can cover up this uh, area as well. So it can grow almost like in a circle we have every in every corner every part of the plant a new growth which i think it's uh, very nice and let me try to focus on the bloom a little bit well it's very hard as you can see there we go beautiful isn't it i really really like the blooms so uh, i'm going to flush it and then uh, we're going to put it back on the shelf in a greenhouse so i will uh, meet you that guys there <laughs> And there we are again. <laughs> Here she is. And yes, she looks pretty fine, I believe. And I really like the pebbles. As you can see, they are now almost black. That means they, that they are wet. I did flush it just to get the dust out a little bit. So yeah, and I think it will do fine. But I must admit, uh, a little. Uh, the other ones were, uh, are just a little bit bigger, these, these uh, buckets. Pots, I call them. <laughs> so yeah, then, then this part would fall in a little bit deeper, but now I just did uh, make the reservoir a little bit bigger. But I really like the look of the other ones a bit better. But yeah, I already bought these guys and I, I'm going to use them. They will do the, do the work, they will do the, the trick. <laughs> but um, yeah, and I might, this might get a little bit dry, but I think it will be okay. 
So yeah, this is the uh, basically the end result. I think it uh, does uh, look very nice. And like I said, it probably should be good for at least another two years in this setup. So uh, yeah, and uh, of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. And of course, I ho really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. And uh, yeah, if you want, you can this give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> and for now, uh, I like I said, I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye. <laughs>